In NEMA today, nearly 2,000 people lined the streets to watch the annual Lumber Days celebration parade. After the classic cars, emergency vehicles, and trains of kids paraded through town, the crowds headed into Central Grounds for food, drinks, live music, and games. TV6's David Jackson has the story. More than 30 years ago, NEMA started a celebration of the area's history. Well, that started out uh, as this was a lumbering town. Every town was a lumbering town back in the day. Uh, and we do kind of carry on the tradition with the uh, log sawing and nail pounding and, you know, pipe contests. Just kind of the old-fashioned stuff is what we do. The former logging town nestled right in the mouth of the Sturgeon River on Big Bay Danak got its start in the late 1800s. At the town's peak, there were over 800 residents producing millions of board feet yearly. But that number reduced after the Bay Danak Lumber Company closed their doors in the 1950s. People who once lived in the town still make their way to the annual celebration. I most of the time I get up here for this. Well, it's beautiful. They used to have wooden sidewalks and they had a boulevard there and wooden sidewalks. All the people visiting for the celebration swells the population for the day, which some former residents say reminds them of their youth. For the they had 500 people living here then. Now they got about 20. <laughs> but today they'll have 2,000. For the people attending, local favorite Generations held their last public concert at the pavilion in the center of town. They could also send their kids over to the bounce houses and enjoy a cold beverage at the drink tent before the pie eating, log sawing, and horseshoe contest began. People could also check out the classic cars from local and surrounding area residents at the neighboring car show. This will be our ninth annual. Most of them are local. We've got a few that are from out of town. It's a hobby. It's something to do in the wintertime. Have fun in the summertime. In NEMA, I'm David Jackson for TV6 News.